Let's fucking bail now. I don't want to know anything about this place no more. <laughs> we need to one check change our clouds. Alright. Good. No! Dude. I was thinking, no, don't get <laughs> hit now. Maybe big bag of those was. Mm, I think it was. something, probably. But we got the medallion, and that's what matters. And I want to change clothes because defense. Oh wait, I'll still be gone, right? Because I think we got like Yeah, a couple of those. Just reload this thing for the sake of reloading. Alright. That gone in between. We'll see. I don't think Paul has it. Welcome. It's a fucking revolver, dude. Where's 35? A high caliber revolver chamber. Five hands rounds, alright. We need to modestly save just in case because I don't think there will be any danger from me all, all the way to that other room where we need the medallion. But you know, your boy loves to fuck it up. <laughs> Make everything a giant mess. Uh, 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 should I still go? Alright. This guy is going to stay all by his lawn, so... For a while now, at least. <laughs> the sole survivor of this. Plus the other guys on that other room. You know, the one where we pulled the lever and three guys jumped out. Yeah. Do you think this mansion is going to blow up by the end of the game? Boy, I sure do hope so. I mean, now I'm just wondering if... More enemies spawn somewhere. Guess we'll... <laughs> I was saying, guess we'll see. And now I'm wondering. Well, first of all, do we need the fish key for anywhere else? I mean... I'm not sure though. I don't think so, but... Hope not. Yeah, I was thinking, let's see if we find more monsters. But oh yeah, the giant fucking mummy doll. Somewhere around. Ready to give us a big ol' hug. I guess we'll see. Resident Evil 4 ass room. Why is there no music anymore? I'm just going to start running and whatever happens, happens. So there's nothing. I mean, our guys are still here. Maybe we can actually kill them all. <laughs> well, that will be kind of mean. Alright, so should be heading north. Uh, and we came from the right, so we should be going down technically. So it seems. I mean, to reach the room with the medallion at least, but it was the last room, right? Yeah. I think so, at least. It's kind of weird that there's no music. I don't like it. I guess that's make, mm, that makes it creepier, right? I mean, imagine if you're just on that exact same room, just no music, just your own footsteps and just a bunch of dolls sharing whatever on. Yeah, I killed the clown of you last time. Mm -mm -mm. Is there like beaming light coming from here? I mean, can you use it here? Alright, now we know. Use it. Ah, oh, god damn it. Where? Where then?
Oh, this actually works now. It's locked. Right. Oh, God damn it. And I don't have that right. <laughs> no, I have the left. Where, where are we technically? Ah. Weird. <laughs> it almost seems like an afterthought now. Also, why is this elevator always green? I thought it was red. Alright, whatever. I just want to see if it's true. I'm just going to flip around. Huh. Maybe. If... Why is now everything completely. Neat and tidy. Giant rope, though. For what? This place used to be a mess. What did we even got? Probably Martin shots. And Eliza is completely <laughs> on face by by this revelation. Because if you all remember, this room was completely trashed by the other dolls. Now it's completely neat and tidy. Whatever, I guess. I mean, if I had to guess, it would be on the right one, but... <laughs> but whatever. I'm not sure if it's like, oh, you need to leave it there and then just do other crazy stuff. I don't know. Oh, okay, well, we use one item here, I guess. And meet the magical world of what the fuck is <laughs> behind this door. The one discovered. Alright, well, now we're making progress again. Even, well, whatever progress will come in. Oh, it's on top of that other room. Cool. I guess this probably could have helped us. What a maze. I threw. <laughs> God damn it. I blame my own luck. Yep. It's a bit more complex than. But we made it out to be. Ah, oh, there's. Oh, well, that's weird. Oh. I'm to make a bit of memory of what we did last time. But I think we got it all right, except that door on top. You know, there's one down, left, and one on top. <sighs> do you think we need to do something else there? Yeah, we'll see. Some something's going to grab my feet. It was held right. Might as well use it. Something going to grab my feet. Oh, there's a book there. And some manhole. There's a note laying on the ground. Dear Eliza, if you read this, it means I failed to protect you. I was once just like you, immune, but you're stronger than I. Then I, you're stronger than I, is than I, <laughs> come on. Well, whatever. And I know it's not a typo because this type font has that weird A that you only use in typewriting, never writing by hand. So please destroy the finger of God is the only way to stop this madness. All right. I found a logged book, alright. Alright, cool, cool. Muffle covers can be lifted by hand, alright. Fuck is this place, anyways? Just the outside? Or oh, whatever. We need the book in the library, right? So let's go and do that. The finger of God. What is this? Some Midas kind of thing? Just instead of whatever, just turn things into porcelain?
Mm -mm -mm. All right. Hopefully, once we reach the library again, we don't spawn more goonies. <laughs> you know, we put the book and goonies spawn. That would be inconvenient. Anyways, I wanted to talk about something. That... <laughs> kind of questionable. <laughs> it's because... I mean... I was following, like this ASMR artist and she was doing as part of the series one involved a double romance with with a, a f for for what it seems a first a first line cousin whatever you call it like your aunt's daughter why are you watching that it's kind of weird sometimes anyways so I was wondering damn this is fucked up but then I remember that didn't that exactly happen in Fire Emblem Fates? The one with Corrin? Are we supposed to pull them all out? Maybe. Weird puzzle. Sometimes this game doesn't like me using the left, like, well, the right, for some reason. Like this. But I seem to have many problems with the left one. So, what's the deal? I need to push them all. And there's so, just so many books, and this fucking stick is not working, and, I, and I'm sure this is a game, not the fucking controller. Why sometimes you can pull them, and sometimes you cannot? Okay. <laughs> because we couldn't open the book is unlocked. There's a key inside. Fuck is that? Oh, it's a three key. Nice. And it doesn't look like Goonies spawn yet. Uh, let's go with Paul though. I was going to say how much time have we been been recording, but they're saying update sign that it just doesn't go away. And I need it to go away. Hold on. Remind me later, dude. One hour. Alright, but again, most of that hour was just dilly dating. Thank you. Okay, they just say because <laughs> been doing quite a couple of things and you know your voice forgetful. The only time the only place that I know we need a three key is like down here. Anyways. <laughs> what were you saying about the cousins? Uh oh yeah. It's because in Fire Emblem Fates. Spoilers for a whatever thing your old game, however how long it's. In Fire Emblem, in Fire Emblem Fates, uh, you're supposed to be the family of one of the two kingdoms of Nor or Hoshio, but it later it turns out that it's not true. The queen who who married the king of Hoshido, uh was already pregnant with Corin, and she just you know. Took him there, and the king used to accept Corin as his own son. Then he got stolen by the other kingdom and was raised there. Oh, Louis bullets. Right. Anyways, then you meet someone named Asura. I don't need to go to the bathroom. But I need to check if there's no one hiding there. I have seen better toilets in a person so. Oh wow, now we're inside. Ah, uh, kind of grim. Not even stars or anything. 
Can we pick whatever this is? Martin shots, alright. What was that noise? <laughs> Just scanning. The whole corner seems dead. Well, here I am trying to explain the story of fates. This is one of those gardens where you get lost. Alright. God, I guess it's going to be one of those levels. What the fuck? And he's going to. Automaton, go down, dick. I need him to attack so I can just. Would be nice if I just didn't, you know, gave him free, free hits. I think he's probably invisible or something because I have taken that really too much damage. Magic pixel, but you know, I think I'm already seeing this as a fail attempt. Yep. <laughs> All right. God, he was actually tanking the damage. Maybe we can bring the big guns. Probably. Nice. No, I have like, well, the shotgun would be good, but it only has like five shots. No, well, anyways. Well, bottom line, because. It's if I try to explain fates, it's just going to be over convoluted for just a <laughs> dumb conversation I'm trying to make. Bottom line, Asura, it turns out, well, Corrin's mother turns out to be a woman that came from another world that cannot be named, apparently. And they had a war or something. And... Oh god, now I was thinking, I don't think I have to do that puzzle again. Dude, please. Bottom line, Asura and, and Corrin are cousins. And using a good Fire Emblem fashion, Corrin can marry Asura. And not only can marry Asura, Corrin can have a child with, with Asura. I do believe two child. <laughs> two children. So... So I mean, well, that's fucked up. Such a pun apple, alright. Well, point is, um, I was thinking, damn, did people really did that back then? Because I, I know about royal inbreeding, but I was wondering, uh, did they did it? Oh, yo, that guy is huge. I and mean, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be crazy to think that it has more than just one set of attack. And it's on this place where, you know, things happen. Oh, is that a note? Very patient. 13th of August, 1891. We found a large cave opening. There are large lanterns placed in this cavern. Are there other mines here? Guess they'll never know. Metal. That's just really sharp. Oh, okay, well, that explains why we can just not cheese this place. It's a mechanical puzzle. The one dial makes the other die in various directions. Uh, I'm losing <laughs> blood on my hand. Anyways, so well, <laughs> so I was saying that. Because, I mean, of course, inbreeding is bad, but <laughs> how, how far into you can get away with. <laughs> and I was reading an article, which let's take it with a grain of salt, because, because here's, the, <laughs> here's the kicker. Anyone can write an article. Anyone can, can talk shit.
So that's why I say don't let's not take it like whoa fucking crazy shit dude. <laughs> and apparently like according to this article you could get away with with first cousin relationships. Uh but <laughs> but again the article the only thing that it said is that well a lot of first cousin relationship ended up with more offspring than the ones who were not in like rural communities and you think that doesn't say anything at all <laughs> because you could have two healthy children with no problems and you could have ten <laughs> inbred freaks of nature <laughs> with all sorts of problems So it was a oh there it is it was a resounding non-answer to be honest oh is that okay cool. <laughs> but I mean then I was reading that oh in Japan it's more normal to do that fucking shit <laughs> and it's like but is it okay <laughs> because I mean. If it's a taboo topic or whatever, then, and it's different depending on each culture or whatnot, then let's try to stick to the facts. Are your children going to be healthy? The fuck is that noise? Ah, it's one of those again. I'm just going to ignore it because clearly... Mm! Fucking scorpion. Why does it have wide hips? Why? Fucking dumb. <sighs> See another goon over there. Wouldn't it be crazy if they just think I'm another goon and just ignore me? There's something else on this other side. The fucking angles in this game. I think they're a little too much. Speaking of which, I have been walking for an hour in one direction. Oh, it's one of the big ones. I'm just worried more about the angle where they where they attack, you know? So I know I can dodge it properly. Dude. Yeah, just let me sit down and read this. More miners have quit. They all got spooked by this rumor that goes around. Apparently 60 years ago, a sinkhole appeared out of nowhere and swallowed this huge asylum or something. Hey, you never know what kind of treasures might be buried there. Alright, cool beans. What the fuck did I do with this? Somewhere. <laughs> I'm out. Wait, didn't that open the... God damn it. I mean, the one that was, like, right here. No, I sure didn't. Alright. Did they just merge in the one? I think they did. No, like, you know, <laughs> fucking Transformers, Power Rangers kind of deal, just... <laughs> just the same enemy in the same place. Oh, wait, there's the other thing robot in this fucking direction. Really? No, dick or cunt, whatever. Hard to tell, honestly. Detection rate. Upgrade more up here. What was the fucking key in this place? Oh, then I can open this too. <laughs> Just letting the monsters out. So, why am I saying all this? I don't know, I thought it was a dumb conversation to have. 
my personal uh, recommendation uh, don't marry your first cousin <laughs> I have yet to find the article with the evidence that says no but fair chance if a couple of generations start doing that it's not going to end well for no one <laughs> so let's not do that That's going to yeah the other one okay. Better keep my peepers peeled and make sure I'm not missing anything. I think it was. The, yeah, my first encounter with one of these guns. Mm. Didn't really turn out that well. Ah, gaunt. <laughs> Two bullets. Martin shots. All right, this is our ammo. Ah, that's all right. I don't know that. <clears throat> How about this goopy? All right. What is that hole? Bob shells. It's called only a romp or something. Well, how convenient for us. Good thing we found this thing. Otherwise, we would have been running around in circles. Do we even have a lantern or something for this? Uh, why? Well, it's a nice escape route, I'll say, but... I don't know, I guess if you just want to avoid getting lost in this place. Will this be a good idea? Just, you know, going mano on with this dude, because the other one took a while. Like, they could really use attack, but they choose not to. <laughs> no, don't run straight into him. <laughs> this looks so dumb. Might as well just slice this guy. <laughs> Is he really dead? Turning. Alright. Surprised we actually kill this thing. I thought it was going to take longer. Well, anyways. Because this dumbass is like this side. What? Um, just getting three pot shots. <laughs> Fuck off. I just noticed I'm, I have been talking way too low. So I need to raise that volume up. <laughs> Especially when, you, when you're talking about the inbreeding. <laughs> Fucking A. All right, well, I think that was the only thing that I wanted to say, right? Because don't get out of here saying that, oh yeah, completely fine if you do, don't. <laughs> I couldn't get my research done truly, but still, don't do it. It's a matter of time before things go bad. Whoever 
I mean, maybe I'm wrong with this, but I think... I think it was Abraham, or I don't know, in the Bible, where they wanted to find a wife or someone's son. Is this log now? I think it is, yep. And it turns out that they went to town and got someone from the family. I don't know. I'll have to double check on that. I don't know if it was Rebecca, I don't know who it was, but I think there was insinuations of same family kind of deal. And I mean, maybe by then or whatever time frame, um, <laughs> they were in the clear. It's still kind of same family. So yeah, I don't know. It would be like me trying to look. Pfft, really? It would be like if me trying to look someone from my grandma's sister's family and see if I can marry someone from there. Uh, it just doesn't feel right. <laughs> well, it was probably longer in the Bible, at least I think. The inferior looks scary from the outside. Uh, we're not exactly in the clear out here. Great. I actually probably think the not there too fast, and I'm dead. I think this will be a good time to stop. At least for Eliza. I mean, let's see what the fuck do I do next? Ah, because maybe I wasn't putting my head together on that maze. And maybe I should play Rising. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Don't mind where you're causing. <laughs> Alright, sorry. I was just thinking. Should I continue or should I just don't? I think it will be better if I quit for now, even though it's just one hour in. Gotta be mindful with this. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Guess I'll see you when I see you, everyone. Take care and remember, keep drinking water. <laughs> Don't marry your first cousin. <laughs> Don't have children with your first cousin. I, I mean, god damn it. I need to <laughs> settle this once and for all. God damn it. Why am I so stupid? <laughs> okay, because clearly we know that it's not a <laughs> good idea to marry your first cousin, Corinne. But what's the science behind it? Uh, so I'm reading this article. Why does marrying your closer relatives increase the chance for genetic disease? Marriage between closer relatives increases the chance of, of certain genetic concerns. Specifically, it increases the chances of having a child with a recessive condition. Sometimes having a variant in just one copy of a gene is enough to cause a disease. But for recessive conditions, a person only develops a disease when they have a mutation in both copies of the genes, aka your parents. So, well, it goes into the full explanation, but I guess it just means your family probably is prone to certain conditions where other family may not. They may have other conditions, but they may not share the same one as you. And when you <laughs> inbreed, you increase the chance of those conditions to take place. So, bottom line, <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> because, again, we know, right? We know. But what was the science behind it? Well, there was that. <laughs> and closing the fates thing, well, apparently, maybe, well, <laughs> kingdom-wise, because uh, Corrin's mother was like the queen of that mysterious village all the other world and her sister was also the next ruler too but i don't know probably corin's mother got down with the bad dragon okay not the company so the evil dragon and there was war in that kingdom so some people wanted to worship anakos i think was the name of that that the uh, successor or sword player of the kingdom but the Asura's mother may have been the actual queen the next in line considering 
and <laughs> kingdom wise Maybe these two getting married, Corin and Azura, just fixes both problems. I think someone said that, that both the usurper child is the king and the legit heir to the throne is the queen. So, problem solved. <laughs> so, people don't keep fighting for, for that. Well, <laughs> well, Corin, you had to take the L. <laughs> Clearly, you are not really against it. <laughs> Fucking asshole. <laughs> God damn it, this dumb. I have a great capacity to taint playthroughs. It just can never be normal. Play the game beginning to end. Anyways, <laughs> fucking out through like two minutes, five. Anyways, take care, drink water, don't marry your first cousin or close relatives in the family. Try to keep, try to keep it outside though. Some article was. Title was keeping it in the family. Don't say it like that. <laughs> We're talking about these things. Anyways, see you.